So currently what I have is two tabs that are darker tabs. Now for me, for what I was thinking of doing over here, the darker tab means that it's not the page you're on. It's, um, it's, it's a different page. So I want to make whatever page you're currently on to be a lighter tab. Now, the reason why I chose to make everything by default the darker tab instead of the lighter tab is because now in this menu I only have two elements, but if I if I put more elements on and more elements on there like list items like five or six, and that always means that there's going to be more um, darker elements and there's going to be lighter elements. So what I'm going to do to make the one be the current tab is I'm going to set I'm going to create a class and I'm going to create that class is going to be called current. So let's see I'm on contact right over here. I'm going to go to CSS and uh, it's going to be my navigation. Now look carefully at what I'm going to do. My navigation inside of my nav menu is going to be an unordered list. Inside of that is a UL or a, sorry UL, an LI list item. And I'm going to precede that by a period and I'm going to put current dash nav. Um, what's, or maybe I'll current dash tab. Okay, I'll do that. I like that naming convention better. Now remember, this is a class. I'm saying that I'm going to define this class for these tabs. So anytime you see a list item that's inside of an unordered list, inside of a menu dash, uh, nav dash menu, apply this rule to it. I'm going to hit OK. I'm just going to apply that because uh, I'm just going to copy and paste the code I already have up there. So let's see. Um, so the nav menu now has this negative 60 pixels posted over, uh, 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 indenting the back, the background picture 60 pixels to the left. Um, I'm just going to copy this and put it right in here, and theoretically, this this element should have all of these attributes anyhow so I just need to redefine it here and I'll just do this zero zero right because now it's going to position it back to where it's going to be that lighter colored element and I'll leave that let's see so there we go but now why isn't that contact um, that color well because we actually have to give it a class so I'm going to go to my source code double click here and I want to give this list item the class, not not the not the um, the link, but the list item. So right down here, in my property inspector, I have my current tab, and right so it puts li and it makes it current tab. Ah, look at that. Now if I look here and I refresh this, my this tab now is the lighter color. So you understand what we did here? We said that both of these elements are are um, list items, and they should have this darker tab background, unless I define one as being the, in the class current, and current is going to then push that background image over so it's the lighter image, and it's going to look the way it's supposed to.